Yeah. I don't wake up asking, am I ready for the world? Man, coach. I wake up asking, is the world ready for me? Thanks. For help? Peace, y'all. You already know what time it is, man. We about to kick off episode four. You know, if you watched the previous episode, then you see what I've been going through with uh, dealing with my shoulder injury and letting that heal up. But what we're about to do right now, we're getting ready for the national championships. But before that, man, let's head over to Blueprint Fitness. We got a blessed gym class. We're going to be breaking down the movements, giving people all the insight they need on these movements that they can be very efficient and reach those goals. So let's check it out. This is Blueprint Fitness. Number one thing is safety, you know, that's the most important. We all got goals, whether it be fitness or, you know, I'm really trying to chase these PRs or whatever the case may be. If you are healthy, then you can do this. So with weightlifting, um, we got we to gotta remember what it's really about. Um, just really one rep, you know what I'm saying? When you're doing CrossFit and you're doing these movements, we're doing multiple reps, right? Um, the positions, the form, it doesn't change. You know, obviously, as you start doing more reps, the, um, your form will break a little bit. Same thing if you're doing a heavy weight. The, your form may break a little bit, but it should be, you should have a solid foundation. And I'm right. always fired up about these, and uh, people really seem to enjoy it. So, you know, you come in here, the man, to get insight about these movements that we're doing in training, which is perfect, man, because people always have questions. You know, they want to hit your DMs. You know how it is, want to inbox you. That's when people seem to be full with the questions. So in person, man, we get the answer, man, live and direct. I know sometimes people like to look down, or some people like to look up. I'm more of a, you know, just a neutral guy, maybe a little bit above neutral, but that's a good focal point for me. That's gonna help me maintain my position, help keep me balanced. So, feet, chest, and eyes. All right, we start from the bottom. I wanna make sure my shoulders start over the bar. Second position, which is above the knee. I wanna make sure my shoulders are over the bar. And then when I get into the pocket position, my shoulders are now on top of the bar. One thing that's really important with training, and I don't think anyone really overlooks it, but sometimes I don't think people understand, man, it's a very key piece of the puzzle. Um, it's just having that coach or trainer, someone just to give you that immediate feedback. Cause you know, we can do a movement and we can feel it, but when you have another set of eyes on uh, the exercises that you're doing, man, it just helps out tremendously. It cuts down the learning curve and also just helps enhance the training, you know, gives you some direction. So with me doing the traveling to different gyms, and sometimes I may not be able to make it to the city that you're at or your gym, you know, haven't, we haven't made it there yet, but what's great in this day and age, you know, man, people can actually sign up, you know, for online training. And man, we got something perfect for you guys. You know, you haven't heard of Train Heroic, you can download that app and you can join Team Blessed Gym. That's Team BTG, man. You can get all of this insight and programs that we have. So that's what we're here for, just to be able to provide some direction for you guys. They can't make it out to a class or for someone who's just kind of looking for some direction with their training to reach their goals. I don't like saying hamstrings, a ham on a string. Come on, <laughs> that don't even sound good. I like I like sweet potatoes. <laughs> Like All right, so look, we just wrapped up with the people, and now I get to do one of my favorite things, and I'm pretty sure it's one of y'all favorite things to do too, and that's eat. But of course, we go into a plant-based restaurant. I know y'all probably tired of hearing about veganism, a plant-based this. Look, folk, it don't matter. This is what it is. This is the life I have chosen, and I am sharing it with you guys. We head over to West Town, man. I gotta get some food. So for all you people that think you can't chow down, and like, how are you eating enough food? Is your body deter uh, withering away? No, folk, I ain't deteriorating, I'm still here. West Town, man, let's go get some food right now. I hope they catch some of the stuff that I say yeah. on a deeper way. Like, yeah. even if it's small, like, it sticks with them and they, yeah. they make some things. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of stuff, uh, just as an observer, like keeping the babies out of the street. Like, that's something that's going to stick with people moving forward. Like, I feel like lives have been impacted from a weightlifting perspective today. Um, several people. Just the stuff that's going to stick with them. Yeah. So, yeah, I like the way like you position the information. And it's super good. I yeah, appreciate it. All right, so look, got my man 4D, Derek Johnson. You already know, man, one of the kings of weightlifting ambassadors. He just hit me up, let me know he got the triple crown. So now what I'm about to do, go link up with him at the national championships. I got my friend, Miss Aaron Andika. She's about to compete against, you already know, one of the fan favorite, Miss Maddie Rogers. So I got to go help my friend out, man. I know she's been preparing, getting ready for this competition. So let's see what she's about to do. We headed to the national championships. Let's go.
Uh, 2017 national championships. I'm excited to, to, to add another national championship to my, my title there. I won my first senior national championship in 2004. That was also in Illinois. So it's always great to be back in Chicago. I'm from St. Louis. So that's, that's, a, that's a short trip, but national championship number six. We always do it, because we always gonna do it. Look, that's how you do it, look. Slap the camera, look, look. Slap the camera down. Oh, man. Look, give, give me some shaking. Look, get out of here. Get out of here. Anyway, I've, I've known both these young men, and they're young to me, for, for one, for a decade and a half, another... For, I didn't know that! Another for nine years. There's a lot going on right now, right? Yeah. I guess maybe your first or second meet. Yeah. Like, I, I don't even know what that, when that is, but... He knows. Look, look at her eyes. See, see these little wrinkles in the, in the corner of her eyes now? That's, Do I got mine? Oh, you, get, you got one. I baby. got you one. Got one. Trying to get a couple in there. <laughs> Mine are south side wrinkles, though. <laughs> so, look, what's real cool about the national championships, man, we use these competitions to qualify for our international meets. Um, typically what they try to do, they may do like two people per weight class, but your ultimate goal really should try to be the number one lifter in your class. That way you're pretty much guaranteed a spot on some of the international teams that may be coming up. But Nationals, man, what's great about it, it's like a huge family reunion. You feel me? You got everybody that's coming together, whether you're competing or you're just spectating. We're still coming together, man, so we can uh, root one another on and, you know, really just see who, who the top lifters are uh, for each category as we get prepared for those international competitions. So right now, we're in the back, you know what I mean? This is the war room, this is the part that a lot of people don't get to see. Um, but it, man, it's really a very intricate piece to actually doing well in a competition. Because I mean, if you're not having really good warm ups, um, it's kind of hard to get yourself in a groove going on the platform. It's already tough enough to go out and make Aaron, one. And Andika to the platform, opening up at 93 kilos. The difference with training in the gym and then actually getting in a competition setting, in the gym, you know, you can take a lift a few different times, maybe more than three times, but in that competition, you're only getting three attempts in each lift, and you have to make one attempt in each one of those different lifts in order to get a total. So, man, it's very important. You really have to be mentally tough and focused to be able to actually go out there and execute on command. Nice control to Andika. Oh, but the ref didn't give it to her. Which one? Give her a hand. Okay, it's not over. She's doing a team of I know. Erin Andika with your bronze medal. Your silver medalist with a 205 total, lifting with East Coast gold, Danielle Hudis. And your national champion with a 239 total, lifting with Team Florida Elite, Maddie Rogers.
I give you your 69 kilo medalist. Give him a hand. Thank you and good night. We'll see you here tomorrow morning for the remainder of the 2000. He's a legend. You feel me? Nobody else will admit it, but I will. He's a little bro. Look at those, look at those grays. Look at those grays. History right there. Right on top of history. <laughs> uh, man, I had an incredible day. You know, just had a lot of people that I uh, uh, grew up in the sport with, a lot of people that has encouraged me over the years, um, and also, you know, getting an opportunity to just to watch my coach and uh, my coach Kyle Pierce and watch, you know, Roger Nielsen and uh, see how they work together and, you know, and just kind of fit in and just help out, help out where I could. So it was nice, man. It was, it was a really good day. And, then, you know, Erin had a really good competition. I think she ended up finishing third overall. Uh, you know, she brought home some medals. And then afterwards, you know, just getting to hang out uh, with the people that I get to see, uh, maybe like, I'd say probably two or three times a year. And uh, just been seeing them for the past, really like the past 10 years plus. So it was a really good day, man. The national championships are, are always, always a pleasure, you know what I'm saying, to come and uh, be a part of whether I'm competing or just being a spectator or helping out. So it was great, man. Great day. Got the Uber popping. Shout out to Uber for the ride to Chicago. <laughs> but yeah, man, better go check out the farmer's market. Um, so I'm excited to see, um, you know, how they got everything operating up here. Should be interesting, you know. Nice day to learn. Nice day to build with like mine. So, yeah, got a nice ride into the city, man. See if we gonna uh, escape some of this traffic. There's really no way around it. So all you can do is sit back, relax, and enjoy your Uber ride. About to go to one of these outdoor grocery stores. People call them farm markets. So I'm fired up, man. We're gonna check out some different fruits, um, different herbs, different spices, all these different things. So you gotta understand, this is what my muscles are made of. So it's not, it's not going anywhere. This topic is gonna be talked about so much. We gonna hammer it down into your brain. You gotta understand. How was Kendra getting stronger? Well, look, man. Let's get down to the basics. Let's check it out. Let's see what all the different things they have to offer, different fruits, vegetables, and let's see how it actually all ties in together. But this is why I'm here, you know what I'm saying? To show you guys how I'm actually putting it together. Let's check out the farmer's market, man, in Chicago. I've always wanted to get into weightlifting. Really? I feel like I'm a really base strong individual and have never like lifted anything, and I just feel like I want to be a lifter. Oh yeah, weightlifting is good. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really good discipline to get into. Like, you know, a lot of people, they like, you know, whether it be meditation or yeah. yoga, but these things are really incorporated into sure. weightlifting, whether you believe it or not, it's interesting. So yeah. I yeah. think it'll be something Well, cool I know there's do. a big push towards vegan athletes now. Indeed. Um, you know, we used to, we used to have a, a restaurant up in Rogers Park okay. and we sold a product that was called Vega there yeah. and Brandon yeah. Brazier was one of, yeah. he was one of the first ones who was kind of leading the we charge about that the on the day. vegan you know athlete thing and yeah. now we see like in tennis and even Everywhere. in football Everywhere. you know and people always I used to see years ago we used to talk about like wrestling <laughs> boxing uh -huh. well, how can where do you get your protein of that's course that, I mean that's always it that's so the only question, I tell really. people I say go to the so zoo what do you eat? and look at do there's you eat? a gorilla that weighs 400 pounds pure muscle Indeed. all it eats is raw fruits and vegetables Indeed. where does it get its protein Indeed. nobody right? nobody asks that nobody asks that right? so look so. when you don't know how to do something man it can be very frustrating I remember um, when I first started in weightlifting, you know what I'm saying, I viewed it as a sport. So I did the typical things, the cookie cutter approach, just gonna kinda really eat whatever, um, do my protein shakes, and then, you know, I'm good to go. But when you actually start thinking about things, like, look, where does this protein come from? Uh, what is protein? Man, your mind starts to go. And if you like me, man, we're trying to seek out truth, and then we actually wanna apply it. So I started viewing weightlifting as an actual discipline. You see what I'm saying? Something that can actually make me better and become the best person I can be, not only for my family, my community, man, but anybody that I come in contact with. So just because you don't know how to do something, man, don't let that limit you. You see what I'm saying? The plant-based diet, you see what I mean? Get as many of those, those meals into your regimen as you can. Figure out how to actually put it together. You see what I mean? That way you can have what they call a complete protein. Because it all starts with the plant, whether you want to believe it or not. You know, so if you're hearing these things, you don't understand why you're getting frustrated and you're tired of hearing it, 
bro, gotta check your vibration, man. It's off a little bit. The chemistry is off. So we gotta try to start from a clean slate. You know what I mean? You are a glass of water. And what you put into that water starts to taint it. Or it can actually, you know what I'm saying, create something that's beautiful. You feel me? And that's what we want. We just wanna have a beautiful vibration. I know you hear beautiful, you think weightlifting and strength, it don't seem like it goes together. But it actually does. So, kinda humble down. I did it, you know, I've been there. So hey, let's check it out, man. The flavor, you know, we ain't eating salads all day, the flavor the flavor.